there was a time when no one asked a young woman what she wanted to be when she grew up because everyone already knew the answer. But more women, including many here tonight, are standing up and changing that answer. At its heart, it is our shared mission to ensure that our daughters will have the same opportunities as our sons. As we mark International Women's Day, it is important to remember that equal rights is not just a fight for women. All of us, men included, need to stand in solidarity with our mothers, sisters, daughters and friends to say that discrimination in all shapes and forms will not be tolerated. The European Union has embarked on projects such as climate change, doors on infrastructure, governance, and most especially in ensuring that we have changes as far as our policies are, are concerned, meaning they have assisted us in the development of our policies. Over the last European Development Fund, 14.5 million euro equals with uh, 680 million Gambian dollars have been programmed to support women's empowerment. Projects go from improving women's access to markets in rural areas to sell their produce, training health staff on the impact of FGM, setting up and supporting women marketing federations, improving nutrition and care practices for women with young children, supporting the Gambia's Technical Training Institute where the first female taxi driver is training to become a mechanic, or a new project where women now lead their communities as alcalos and members of district tribunals, and many more. The people of the Gambia are grateful for all the support that you are rendering to us. We simply cannot afford to leave women out. We have to be bold enough. The National Assembly elections are coming. How many young women are ready to go and sit there to ensure that policies that are in comfort with women are put in place? I'm challenging the young girls and ladies. She spends every phase of her life stitching her loud, painful memories into a fabric to clothe her, strangling her developed hate into a smile, every thought of her existence seeping pain down her soul, disgust displaying itself on her tainted mind, flashes of her struggle pushing down boiling tears, and as they land on her cold cheeks, she feels the slice again. She feels culture joining itself between her ties, burning her innocence, erupting from her purity, hailing to her womanhood, while well, she's often pain. What will it take? Haven't we fought enough, taught enough, cried enough? Haven't we taken it all enough? The names, the insulting generalizations, the filth, the public disgrace, the ingratitude, aren't we tired? So from today onwards, I choose to fight. I choose to be strong. I choose to be black. I choose to be feminist. I choose to be woman. I choose to be soft. I choose to be me. Because at the end of it all, that is all I can be and everything that I should be. So until you find another generic tag for me and all of my sisters around the world, I am queen. I am divinity exemplified. I 